Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this mountain weather update on this Saturday. We've got a few very interesting things to talk about here today. And of course, we're going to talk about the wildfire smoke. It is just nasty in some areas across the West right now. Um, look at the forecast for that coming up. Uh, the monsoon flow, you know, it, it, it rolls on. You know, some years it stops around September 1st. Other years, it just keeps on going through the month of September. And that's exactly what we're seeing this September. It's playing into almost every forecast feature that comes across the West. And we've got two strong cold fronts in the forecast with two significant dips in the jet stream. And I'll show you the jet stream forecast coming up. Um, and that could deliver snow to parts of uh, Colorado and the mountains, the high Uintas of Utah, and also the Wind Rivers up in Wyoming um, as we kind of work our way through the next uh, five to 10 days. And I'll show you all that coming up. I want to take you to uh, the water vapor satellite imagery here across the west, and you can also see the Pacific. Now, uh, water vapor here in the mid-levels, so your drier air is going to be in, the, uh, in these reds and orange colors. That's all dried air down here. These whites and these blues up here, um, that's your moisture up there, especially when you see these, some of these blues come out. That's the higher moisture content in the atmosphere, the water vapor. So the key features, giant area of low pressure, big dip in the jet stream right here. And then you've kind of got everything colliding right here with a bit of a northwest flow. That's bringing a lot of the smoke down out of BC and the Pacific Northwest, kind of a smoke uh, northwest flow right there. But this is the key feature. This is the first of the strong cold fronts in the forecast. This will eventually roll in and become a cold pool. Um, it will bring much cooler temperatures and it will also bring precipitation and some lift into the mountain environments. Um, and I'm going to talk more specifically uh, what that means here in a second. Um, but that's the way the flow looks right now on water vapor satellite imagery um, across a lot of the West. Let me take you to um, the smoke forecast and show you how this plays into it. So here you go. Here's the smoke forecast. Um, and let me just show you. That's the northwest flow pattern right there that's bringing all of the smoke. And this is vertically integrated smoke. So let's let me just talk a little bit about the time so there's 36 hours from now there's 48 hours from now there's the start again so there's 12 hours from now a lot of smoke coming out of california kind of feeding into this you've got smoke from the pacific northwest feeding into this flow and a lot of it coming out of canada and it's just moving down on this northwest flow so there's 24 hours there's 36 hours and there's 48 hours. So there is some clearing after 48 hours across the mountains of Colorado. And there is some clearing across parts of Utah after 36 to 48 hours. But that smoke stays just terrible up here across a lot of the northern tier um, throughout the time period. Wyoming, Idaho, Montana, and the Pacific Northwest stay pretty socked in with this type of uh, with this type of setup there. Um, okay, let me let's talk a little bit about what we've got ahead. So this is effective. This forecast is up in the middle of the atmosphere. This is Friday, the 12th of September. And I want you to notice here's the key feature. It's this. This is the area of low pressure that I just showed you on that satellite image that's sitting over the Pacific. So it moves in through California into the Intermountain West. These cooler blue colors represent uh, lower pressures, lower heights in the atmosphere, and cooler temperatures ultimately. So I expect the chance of snow for the high Uintas, the Wind Rivers, and some of Colorado's mountains between 9-11 and 9-12. So between Thursday and Friday, I do think we'll see some snow accumulation over the very highest peaks. And again, that's 9-12 right there. Let me show you what happens a week from that. This is Friday, the 19th of September. Let me clear out that. It's a very similar forecast, right? You've got another trough, another cold front right here with an area of low pressure, a pool of colder air, and you're creating some lift across a lot of the mountain environments. We may see another shot of snow across parts of the high Uintas 
And I say the Hyuntas because this is a really high altitude snow. It's not quite down to the Wasatch yet, at least upon my thinking right now. Higher elevations of uh, Wyoming, maybe up into parts of Monta Montana. We'll have to see. But certainly as that slides this direction, it may bring another round of snow to some of the 14ers in Colorado. So that is what I'm watching right now. Uh, again, you have 912 and 919. Kind of similar, just a week apart. Um, let me show you this. So this is a... This is an ensemble snow forecast for Berthoud Pass in Colorado. Um, bunch of different runs on the same computer model. And what you're seeing here after about, and there, there might be a little bit of snow, um, and this is Berthoud Pass, so this is not a 14er, but this indicates once you get past this line, so the dates are at the bottom. September 17th right there, there's the 19th, there's the 25th right there. So the line I drew marks September roughly 20th, somewhere in there. And then there's the start of October. There's mid-October right there. These blue lines represent a snow forecast. So each one of these model runs, there's a bunch of them that think we may start to see some snow, even as low as Berthoud Pass, once we get to late September into October. That's what you're looking at right there. Now, if you were to go higher up than Berthoud Pass to some of the 14ers like Long's Peak, Holy Cross, Capitol Peak, um, and so on in Colorado, all these blue bars would be way out here. They'd be extended back earlier because it's a higher elevation. It'd be colder. And with these two cold fronts coming, that's what you would see. You'd see snow earlier on the 14ers. But even this is indicating as low as Berthoud Pass we will probably have some snow by late September and certainly into October. Okay, let me go and show you this. All right, so this is the jet stream forecast. This is up at about 30,000 feet of elevation. Um, and I'm going to start this. This is effective, what you see here early today, early Saturday. And when you see these features, that's a dip in the jet stream right there. So that represents a trough. And right now that's over the east, but that's all going to change in the extended forecast, we're gonna, we're gonna bring that type of pattern to the west. Um, so let me, let me bring up the, uh, here we go. All right, we'll start the animation. All right, so here is, there's uh, late Saturday. Here comes early Sunday, the 7th. There's late Sunday, there's early Monday, the 8th. Look what's happening across the West Coast. Here comes a dip in the jet. So all the colors that you see, when you see the oranges and the bright reds, those represent stronger wind speeds up at about 30,000 feet. That's the jet stream. Um, okay, here we are. There's Tuesday. Here's early Wednesday. Here's early Thursday, the 11th. So this is early Thursday on the 11th. What do you see? Big dip in the jet stream. Area of low pressure, it corresponds to what I showed you on the other maps. And this is the first one of them. Again, this is um, on Thursday, September, um, moving into September 11th into the 12th. So that's your first area of low pressure, and that's going to move through here. It's got some wind energy, and it's got a lot of cooler air with it. That's September 11th. Here's September 13th. Here's early on September 13th. Let me clear off the animation. And that's where the trough moves. That's where the area of low pressure moves right there. And that's Friday, um, September 12th. Um, okay, let's go, let me make sure I cleared that. Let me clear that out. Let's go into, here's the 13th. Now, by the time we get into the 13th, the trough is moving away from the Inner Mountain West. It's moving away. But like I said, right behind it, you've got another one of these very strong cold fronts. It's right here, already moving in, area of low pressure. So there's one right on the, uh, the tail of the other one. Let's move ahead. So there's the 15th, and then we end on the 15th. That's three, that's 240 hours from now. That's the, the late on the 15th right there. But you can see the pattern turns very active across the west with at least two different cold fronts moving in. Um, in many of the same areas, in fact. So let me just clear that, and you can see it. I mean, this is a big dip in the jet stream right here. 
by the time we get to you know 240 hours from now, um, that's a big one. So exciting times ahead. Um, lots to uh, mention. I thought this would be a perfect day for this update. And one final reminder, I'm going to have my winter forecast with um, all the details and all the resorts coming up on Monday. I'll, I'll release that here on this uh, YouTube channel and uh, we'll have some fun with that. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care and have a great day.